Turbulence. Here's a tale of Billy Hayes from out in the Alice Springs. A wild young ringer in his day, he'd done some crazy things. He'd buck balls over fences, rolled a cold up air's rock. Since his legs weren't made for walking, they were made for riding stock. A legend ran the radio from Alaroon to Broome. An untried horse at 6am was saddle broke by noon. No form of equine foolery he wasn't going to try. Only one thing ever spooked him. He was way too scared to fly. Well, if I was meant to fly, he said, I'd have feathers and a beak. You fly and waste a day and I'll drive and waste a week. I hear they're safe as houses and mechanically they're sound. But I don't see no rope or bridle, so hey, I'm staying on the ground. One day Bill got a call from his mate in Adelaide. Got his girl in trouble and the wedding cards were played. He said, mate, I don't care how you do it. You can beg, steal or borrow. But mate, they're gonna have to catch the plane because the big day's on tomorrow. Bill cursed and spat. Don't be bloody coot. He knows how I'll jump on anything that's coming out of a chute. I've caught stands that'll kill ya. Caught balls gone off their brain. But I never thought there'd come a day I'd have to catch a plane. Bill legged it to the airport and thought, well, this is it. The lady at the counter asked, where would you like to sit? He said, you know that black box thing they always seem to find. Well, you can stick me right inside of it, you wouldn't bloody mind. She gave a friendly smile and said, sir, I'll just take your bag. He said, I don't bloody think so, and by the way, it's called a swag. Bill was sweating buckets when they finally cleared the strip. He had his seatbelt on that tight, he was bleeding from the hip. But when they levelled out, he stopped shaking at the knees. Looked around, relaxed and thought, this flying game's a breeze. He clipped his belt undone, stretched out his seat. Well, he couldn't stretch that much because he had his swag at his feet. Then the captain crackled something. Bill asked the hostess what was said. So you better buckle up, there's some turbulence ahead. Turbulence? What's that? Sir, it's pockets caused by heat. When it gets severe, it can throw you from your seat. Throw me, I'll be buggered. Bill pushed his seat right back, wrapped his legs round his swag, and stuck his left hand through the strap. He jammed down his Acura, he was ready now to ride. Then things got pretty bumpy and Bill yelled, Outside! The plane she dropped a thousand feet bounced up 500 more. When his head hit the roof, his backside hit the floor. He rode all through the territory, he never come unstuck. So give me all you got, big bird, buck, you bastard buck. While the passengers were screaming in fear of certain death, Billy whipped and hollowed till he nearly ran out of breath. He'd have thought the canvas swag was welded to his ass, and before the ringer knew it, he bucked himself up the business class. There seemed no way to tame this creature. He'd had ten gears in reverse, but that didn't worry Billy. He just bucked on through to first. He did somersaults with twists on this mongrel mount from hell. He yelled out to the pilot, for Christ's sake, ring the bell. Bill was bleeding from bugle. He had cuts above both eyes. If you weren't there on the spot, you'd probably think I'm telling lies. He'd been upside down and inside out, done flips and triple spins. You might have seen some great rides in your time, but hands down, Billy wins. The flight returned to normal. Bill was flat out on the deck. Still stuck to his swag, but he looked a bloody wreck. He pulled himself together, stood up and straight and raised his hat. He said, I've had some tough trips in me day, but never one like that. An eight second spin and Alice proves you made of sturdy stuff. But I was there and near a minute and I reckon that's enough. The first class folk were dumbstruck at this crazy ringer's feet. But Bill just grabbed a crown and walked back to his seat. Now years have passed and Bill's long give the bucking game away. Too many breaks and dusty miles are far too little pay. Now planes are not a worry. In fact, he'd rather fly than ride. And when you talk about his maiden voyage, his chest puffs out with pride. You can talk about your Rocky Neds and that old chainsaw, Blake. I'd ride them both without a rope and roll a bloody smoke. There's cowboys round who think they're hot. Well, they ain't tasted heat. Till they've ridden time on turbulence at 30,000 feet. Thank you.